At approximately 7.55 p.m. tonight, an individual uh, pulled up in a minivan on Fifth Avenue, uh, left the car there for some time, walked around the area. Uh, but at 17.55 or hours, or rather 7.55 p.m., the individual returns to that minivan, uh, takes out two two-gallon cans of gasoline, uh, a plastic bag containing two bottles of lighter fluid, uh, the type of which you would use to light a charcoal grill or a barbecue, uh, two extended lighters, uh, butane lighters uh, controlled by a trigger, and enters St. Patrick's Cathedral. As he enters the cathedral, he's confronted uh, by a cathedral security officer who asks him where he's going, informs him he can't uh, proceed into the cathedral carrying these things. At that point, some gasoline apparently is spilled out onto the floor as he's turned around. Uh, the St. Patrick's employee notifies two CRC, Critical Response Command, uh, from the Counterterrorism Bureau police officers from our striker team who are outside, uh, that the individual went um, south on Fifth Avenue and onto 50th Street. They catch up to the individual who's carrying the gas cans and begin to question him. His answers were inconsistent and evasive, although he remained uh, uh, conversational with them and cooperative. His basic story was that he was cutting through the cathedral um, to get to Madison Avenue, that his car had run out of gas. Um, we took a look at uh, the vehicle. Uh, it was not out of gas. And at that point, he was taken into custody and brought to the Midtown North Station House. There was some very good work done here, um, obviously by the St. Patrick's uh, Cathedral security officer who encountered this man immediately inside, as well as the two CRC police officers who tracked him down, engaged him um, in conversation, questioned him, located the vehicle, and took him into custody. Questions? Is terror being considered as a possible motive? It's too early to say that. Um, it's hard to say exactly what his intentions were, but I think the totality of circumstances of an individual walking into an iconic location like St. Patrick's Cathedral, carrying uh, over four gallons of gasoline, two bottles of lighter fluid and lighters, uh, is something that we would have great concern over. Um, his story is, consistent, is not consistent, so he um, is in conversation with detectives right now. I think if you add to that the events um, in the iconic location of uh, the fire in Notre Dame uh, this week and, um, and all the publicity around that, this is a location where we always have heightened security. That is normal. Um, we've added to that in recent days, and I think this is an indicator of, of something that, uh, that would be very suspicious. Uh, not uh, in his initial statements. We're talking to him now, uh, but I wouldn't be able to characterize uh, his statements beyond what he told us in the instant encounter. Were he known to police? Uh, he is known to police, and uh, we are looking into his background, obviously, talking to a couple of other agencies. Uh, this investigation involves the Detective Bureau. Uh, it involves uh, the Intelligence Bureau the Counterterrorism Bureau, and the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force. Uh, that is out of an abundance of caution uh, because we don't know exactly what his mindset was, what his motive was, but we do know that carrying um, two cans of gasoline and the uh, equipment to light that uh, through a public area uh, in a place like St. Patrick's Cathedral is something that presents a danger to the public, and that's why he's in custody. Uh, there were people inside the church. At the time he entered, the church was open. And um, again, uh, he was creating a hazard. You mentioned that you made an investigation of gas and what about the light? Would you say what the light is? The light is? I'm not going to characterize his statements um, in that level of detail. And we're still talking to him. Last question. We're talking to the district attorney's office uh, at the same time we're talking to him. 
uh, at the point that we charge him uh, with a crime, a specific crime, uh, we'll release his identity. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to open up the street, obviously. If you guys are going to do any hits, do them by the ballots or across the street. But keep in mind that this is going to be open. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.